Hello, I'm Noel Psychotherapist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Great to have you here. Welcome. Um, do subscribe while you're here. There's a link at the bottom of the video. And if you're watching this on my website, look above, you'll see um, a blue, uh, some blue writing saying email details. If you click on that, you can enter your email details and I'll send these blogs to you um, without having to make any effort to find them whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> a short video today to go with the blog on... Um, uh, the inside line really on how to make changes, change habits. We're creatures of habits, either good or bad. Um, so it's your decision which one you want. And it really is your decision which one you want. Good habits or bad habits. Habits that make you happy and healthy or habits that make you unhappy and unwell. Up to you. Um, I think I talk to people a lot about is engineering their environment to drive them or guide them in the direction that they want to go. Um, an example I often use is this, if you want to eat healthily, put your healthy food at the front of the cupboard, put your healthy food at the front of the fridge, make it easier for you to make that choice to eat healthily. Um, it doesn't mean you can't eat unhealthily uh, or order that pizza, uh, but you're more likely than not just to grab the first thing in front of you without too much effort and if that happens to be uh, nourishing, healthy choice, and great, uh, you've, you've gone uh, in the right direction with your life. Same with the sort of people you surround yourself with, so why I do things like AA work? Um, because uh, recovering alcoholics start to surround themselves with people who are trying to recover themselves. Um, you're more likely to succeed if you surround yourself with the sorts of people that uh, you want to become. That's it. So, you want to become a millionaire? Try and find some millionaires. That might be a bit more difficult, but you can work on it. Um, so, that's the way it works. Uh, you want to get an education? Go to a place where all people are getting educated, university, college, etc. So, those are the principles. There's, there's other things you can do, which is get people on board with um, helping you change. So, if you're going to make a big decision when I decided to stop smoking a long time ago, I texted all my friends and said, hey, I'm going to quit smoking. Um, and then they were all very happy to stay on my case about it. Really were. <laughs> Got that sort of group of friends. Um, so help people. Uh, get people to help you stay on track. Uh, be realistic about what you can, how you start. So don't imagine um, you're going to uh, conquer Everest tomorrow if you're deciding to get fit and healthy. Um, give it a few weeks before you do that. Start off small. Go for a walk in the morning. Um, and build up to climbing that mountain. Um, yeah, be realistic about the time scales and uh, be realistic about it as well whether or not um, you are going to be climbing Everest or maybe that might be a little bit too much for you. Even with all the training in the world, you may not have that capacity in you. So be realistic about those things. So, so what is the fantasy that you're holding around it? Uh, and also accept that change is uncomfortable. It's not... Um, it doesn't feel great. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, even if it's a positive change, it can feel really, really rubbish during that transition period. So, you know, be realistic about that and expect that to, to be the case. Um, so I'll put these on the underneath the video and on the website, so check it out. I hope that's useful for you to do. Um, and for today, I want to give you this affirmation. For today, I want you to say, I can change my habits and my lifestyle to become healthier and happier. For today, I want you to say, I can change my habit and my lifestyle on my habits and my lifestyle to become healthier and happier. Thanks for dropping by. See you again soon. Bye-bye.